And then since you also mentioned Balochistan, it's only imperative that we discuss the other internal developments that are happening right now. And what we see is a rise of radical Barelvi groups and they are somehow being brought into the mainstream and especially with the um, you know, uh, growth of uh, Tereke Labayak, it's a concern and it's also sort of widening the divide between the civilian and the military leadership at the moment. So what do you make of all these internal developments in Pakistan right now? See, this, this is, uh, if you look at, the, at Pakistan's trajectory, what has been very, very interesting is that how um, radical groups and extremist groups have been instrumentally used uh, throughout their history to uh, by the military to cut the civilian uh, civilians down to size right. and in the, in the process that space for extremism has only grown in pakistan you know and 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 the reality that today uh, you know every other day or every few years you hear a new group being created a, a new group coming to light a new group taking the forefront i think those are the challenges that uh, that uh, that are very carefully crafted uh, military intelligence apparatus in Pakistan often creates, they create these differences, they bring their own people, they think that that person will control it. And when they find that that person is getting out of hand, they create another um, right. uh, mix. So um, my, my own sense is that, uh, you know, um, this is, um, you know, this particular uh, episode at, at this particular point may be temporary. But its long-term consequences are only going to enhance the space for extremist groups in Pakistan. And that's that in any way in the context of what is happening in Afghanistan is a very dangerous development. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad. Namaskar.